in UAE, okay, not just in UAE, in any Arab country, if you want to live and live peacefully without having any kind of problems or troubles, the only thing you can do is to be law abiding. If you are law abiding, trust me, you can live in any of the Gulf countries. You can live in any Middle East country without having any kind of problem. You wouldn't have problems with the police. You wouldn't have problems with the, with, the, with the security system and you would be safe. You would be out of every kind of trouble. If you are law abiding, you are good to go. Okay. But if, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Ghana for I don't not even Ghanaians. People are so, you know, um, um, should I say lustful? They are so lustful. They can't abstain from sex for some time. They can't stay away from women for some time. And doing that here in this country can land you in some big trouble. Trust me, you you could find yourself in very deep shit if you are that type that can't keep that thing inside your your or, or beneath your zips. We are all men, we all have feelings, we, we, we all at a point in time feel like having sex or going out to have women sometimes. You see, you know, these Arab ladies are very beautiful, trust me, if you see them, you see some kind of reflection. They are very, very beautiful, but that doesn't guarantee you, who is especially a non-Muslim, talk less of an African, going in to propose to them and then you know, before you even get to them, before you, you get to that standard of being able to getting married to one Arab lady, it is a huge task. It is a huge task. You need to have a certain amount of money in your bank account. You need to be a converted Muslim and a whole lot of things. You need to go through certain criteria. They don't condone with, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend issues. They, they, there is nothing like, this is my boyfriend, this is my girlfriend here. Like... In the Muslim community, in the Muslim community, there is nothing like that. So if you're new here and then you try to be like, I've seen this girl, I'm interested in her and I want to propose to her. It is not too smart. <laughs> that is not too smart. You could, you could be in some trouble, you know. I've already made a video on the you know, things you should avoid totally when you are in the UAE. Check them out. Charlie, it is not easy everything you see you see so many beautiful things but you don't have rights to them you, you need to go through certain principles certain you know steps you need to go through certain channels before you get to what you're looking for you don't just go grab something that that is not yours it seems that i'm talking too much see there is this guy yesterday um, my friend butchie sent me a voice note trying to inquire about um, if someone could be jailed or deported when they propose to an arab lady See, it is a big yes. You could be deported, you could be jailed. First of all, you should bear in mind that this country is a religious country. It is being ruled by religious rules and laws. And therefore, if you are unable to abide by these laws or regulations, rules, there are consequences you need to face. That is why it is very important for you to know everything pertaining this country before you move in. I've taken it upon myself. I'll guide you. I'll lead you through certain things. But I can't do everything at a time. At, at the same time, I'm trying to do everything one step at a time. Do you understand? But you should know best. This country is an Arab country. It is an Islamic country or a, an Islamic community. Know that you are in the Middle East and they don't condone with fornication, adultery these boyfriend girlfriend stuff it is not allowed but this guy went ahead and then proposed to an arab girl it didn't end there if you have been able if you've succeeded in proposing to her she's accepted it's between you and her know how to do your things privately but this guy was so stupid to the extent that he goes to the girl's classroom sit by the girl smooches her hugs her kisses her in class I mean, who does that? This is some form of, you know, insanity. It is, he's even lucky he was just deported. He's lucky he was just deported. The, the, the worst could have happened to him, trust me, because it is unlawful. It is, it is unacceptable to do this in this country. No, it is not acceptable. 
you could do that anywhere around the world without facing any kind of troubles or any kind of problems but it is not acceptable here in uae it is not acceptable here in the middle east it is not acceptable in any muslim or islamic community in asia and this only did not affect him because of his stupidity now the the, the Ghanaians who were employed into that company have all been sacked now with the the, the 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 fact that the girl was you know an arab being excited the girl was also a, a juvenile she was below 18 years because this guy was a cleaner in that school and i mean not even a, a fixed cleaner he was he, he was on probation with the fact that she was a juvenile public display of affection is totally prohibited here in the country like kissing in public groping your partner in public you know some hugs are even on unlawful here in the country talk less you going into a girl who going into a girl who is a juvenile's classroom and then displaying affection publicly for the other classmates to also see and then without even having the thoughts that there were cameras in the classroom there were loads of cameras in the classroom Charlie was this guy just dumb or he was just stupid there were lots of cameras in the classroom and then everything was being captured and recorded who does this if you are someone who can stay chaste if you are someone who can control your feelings for women if you're someone who loves alcohol so much if you're someone who loves to drink and then drive who loves to drink and misbehave if you're someone who is unlawful like who is who isn't that law abiding it's better you stay back in your country don't waste your time don't don't waste your time don't waste your money don't waste the time of your loved ones leaving them and coming here to work because at the end of the day you would be caught you would be arrested, you would be detained, you would be jailed, you would be repatriated, you would be sacked from the country, and then everything that you ever wasted on traveling to this place will be will, will go waste. This should serve as a deterrent to everyone here listening to me. It is very, very dangerous. It is risky. Fine, you could do that with your nationality. You could do that with any other person in secrecy. Like, I'm not supposed to tell you this, but you should, you could do that in secrecy, be it your nationality or any other person from any kind of country. That is none of anybody's business. When you're not caught, you're free. But when you are caught also displaying public affection with someone, you could be in, in hot soup. Just stay away from the Arabs. Leave them alone. Okay? Just leave them alone because they are not for free leave them alone you, you could be in trouble i am telling you this as a brother if anything happens to you trust me just bear in mind that your loved ones are going to be worried people around you people who think you are coming here to survive so that they can also survive back home are going to be in jeopardy like things are going to fall apart if anything should happen to you here in this country okay nothing is free and nothing is without rules and regulations everything in this country is governed by rules and regulations if you are law abiding if you can follow the rules if you can go according to the rules and the laws here in the country you are a free man i walk outside majestically like i walk outside with my chest out because i have done nothing wrong can you walk outside like that too can you do this in this country if you are law abiding, you are a free man. You can go anywhere you want. You can do whatever you like. Provided they don't go against the laws of the country, you are a free man. But if you are trying to be smart, bro, there are smart systems here. There are smarter systems here that are going to fish you out and then land you in big trouble. Try your best. Be law abiding for once. Two years, three years, you are back home. You can do whatever you want to do. Just make money. What you are here for is to make money. Make money and then go back home. You would have the world to your disposal. This is a different country. This is a different world altogether. I know I come from the same world as you come from, where we have everything at, at a free you know, instance. But it is not the same here. Okay? Maybe your place, you don't want to be marrying virgins. Here, they want to be marrying virgins. So you can't come and destroy their girls for them. It is unacceptable. And then sometimes, this is one secret I also have to tell you. 
it is very unlawful to even look at a lady lustfully. If she finds out and then she's able to find concrete evidence but that you looked at her lustfully, you could also be in jail for that. It is not authorized. It is not done here. Okay, so just considering this fact and then you going ahead to the extent of going to the girl's classroom, mastering the courage to go to the girl's classroom and then kissing her in her class and then smooching her in the class in front of other classmates. Are you, I mean, are you stupid? Are you just a dumb or you... Or, well, maybe he... He, he didn't know or maybe he doesn't know the rules here who knows but you need to make your research you need to know where you're going <laughs> you just don't you, you just don't travel to a place for traveling sex you need to make your research get your facts right before you go to that count that kind of country that you want to go to so um that's the little i have for you today i i i didn't intend to make this video a lengthy one but due to circumstances <laughs> surrounding this situation we have to make it a lengthy one so that is it i i just i'm just putting this out here just to get you informed so that you be on your guard don't fall the next victim you could be the next victim because there are lots of things going on around here that are landing that are actually landing people in trouble landing people in big problems people are being repatriated deported every now and then because of bad acts and then bad behaviors at the end of the day they kind of be like they weren't wrong and stuff like bro you were wrong just say you didn't know how to go about things or you didn't get your facts right you were wrong so i i i just urge each and everybody if you're back home wherever you are when you intend to travel to the arab world know their rules watch my videos watch my videos i have everything packed up in my you know in my playlist check them out the uae playlist check them out and then get your facts right before traveling to the arab world this is what i do here i'm most grateful to have you here with me my name remains kofi techi and if you're a returning subscriber i thank you so much for your support if you're new to this channel make sure you hit on that subscribe button so that i can grow higher and then bring you more information not just about uae but around the world okay thanks for sticking with me till this far until we meet again, see you on the next one.